Did you hear what the nun said? I'm gonna get Ethan back. Well, yeah, but that's not all she prophesied. That was the most important part, Whitney. You did hear her. Teresa, you only hear the parts you want to hear. The sister was very clear in her warning. Whitney, I am going to be reunited with the man that I love, and that is all I need to know. Even though she prophesied that there was going to be great pain coming in store for you? Come on, Teresa, you don't seriously mean to stick your head in the sand and pretend like everything's just going to be all rosy? Why not? Little pain's not going to scare me off. It should. Come on. Who are you talking to here? It's your best friend. You've been in deep torment over Ethan for years. A little more pain? It's not going to do that much more damage, okay? Especially now, I see that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Stop being such a worrywart. Uh, no, no. I'm a realist here. And I'm a dreamer. Whitney, come on. The nun just gave us amazing news. You're going to be with Chad. I'm going to be with Ethan. Now, only you could take that kind of information and turn it into some kind of downer. And only you could ignore the facts the way that you do. Now, look, you know what? Gwen is married to Ethan. And Chad is still my brother, no matter what some old nun says. Now, she's probably wrong about me, just like she's probably wrong about you. She isn't. We have suffered so much. Things are going to work out for us. I'd stake my life on it. <sighs> wow, you are certifiable, honey. What, because I'm not giving up on Ethan? No, because you think with your heart instead of your head. If that's what you are doing by uh, denying yourself, the man that you love, and your son, then I am not missing out on anything. Okay, we are talking about you right now. And look, you can't just ignore everything that that old nun said. Her vision about you, it was so clear. She said that I was going to end up with the man that I love. Which would bring you unspeakable pain and agony. You know, I don't run scared every time someone threatens me. It's like that email that I got on the way to Rome. What email? Oh. You don't know it. I, um... Um, yet you were in the catacombs, you know, being manipulated by Alistair, and, well, he's the master at trickery. What was the email, Teresa? Who was it from? Oh, it was anonymous, actually. But it said that I was going to win Ethan here in Rome. And? That I would lose my love here in Rome, too, but... Now, that is strange, don't it's, you think? Yeah, it's totally strange. That's why I don't even pay attention to the last part of it. Well... It's weird, because it's the same kind of contradiction that nun saw in her vision. Whitney, all I know is two totally independent sources said the exact same thing, that I was going to end up with Ethan. Now, the rest of it be damned. Oh, you and Scarlett O'Hara. What? Tomorrow's another day? Yeah, and when it comes, then I'll deal with it then. But right now, all that matters is today. And today, I believe that I will end up living happily ever after with the man that I love, Ethan. You know, I really wish sometimes that I could be like you. Just throw all reason to the wind. Whitney, you can. All you gotta do is just believe with all of your heart that true love conquers all. Next time you see a glass, you think half full, not half empty. Well, you know, that would be a little bit easier for me if Chad weren't my half-brother. Now, believe me, I would love more than anything to believe in the power of love, as you say. Well, go for it. Try it. And you know what? Good things will happen for you and Chad, just like things are gonna happen for Ethan and me. See, this is what I don't understand. How can you possibly believe that Ethan is going to leave Gwen when he's told you a million times that he won't? I believe in miracles. I'm going to get one, and so are you. Okay, if you don't believe me, then what about the nun? She said she had this vision, Whitney, that we were going to be happy with Ethan and Chad. And that we were going to experience deep suffering and pain. But she didn't go into detail about that. So much weight could it really carry? All I know is I'm very close to finding J.T. Cornell, and when I do, he's going to prove to Ethan that his wife is a duplicitous snake, then he's going to divorce her, and he's going to come rushing back into my arms where he's always belonged. But you're dreaming, as usual. What you want here, it's impossible. Not my vocabulary. I know God's going to come through for us. He works in mysterious ways, you know. Yeah, but see, the problem is, so does Satan.